They don't even know. They don't even know that they just got tri tri trigger manned. Oh, this have Xbox Live? I don't know. Why does your mom have Xbox Live? Tra tra tra. Trigger man. He's the action guy with the big plan. He's the tri a Trigger man. He'll kill you and then eat your hand. We love this guy. What a cool dude. We want Puppet Steve. Oh, God. Let me go talk to the irate gamer real quick. See if we can get a Puppet Steve cameo. Is this a slop game, Brendan? Well, it's got a review score of 30. So, you know, we want Puppet Steve. We want Puppet Steve. This is like I dressed up like a mu uh, magician and I show up at a children's birthday party and the children are all pelting me with candy ripped right out of the pinata yelling, I want Puppet Steve. I want Puppet Steve and I want him now. Why did my mom, why did my mom pay for, hey, do you want to see a magic trick? Why did my mom pay for this guy? I don't even fucking know this. Why did my mom pay for this guy? I want Puppet Steve and I want him now. One Puppet Steve on either hand. You can take Puppet Steve and put one Puppet Steve on your left hand and one Puppet Steve on your right hand and double the Puppet Steve. Come here, Buster. My mommy just let me rent this from Blocked Buster and you're the Buster who's going to get blocked. Please don't kill me. Stop moving faster than me. What the shit, dude? Thank you for dying. And what is this music? Why is it playing Holistic Mom Adventure? I don't want it to play Holistic Mom Adventure. I don't want to find out about mom's new fucking, like, the cult that she's joined. Hey, you know, when I'm feeling down and when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling blue and when I'm feeling bad, I take probiotic yogurt. You see, the one thing that a lot of people don't understand is depression is tied directly to your gut biome. And your gut bacteria are looking mighty stinky lately. All those Doritos, loaded nacho tacos at the Taco Bell, all those candies and sweets you've been eating and eating. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there for a guy like me. Your gut biome is all kinds of fucked up. And this is the music that plays during that. Hey, have you thought of Activia? Is your gut biome all nasty and goopy on the inside? Are you absolutely slopped up all up in there? Your gut's scrambled up like a jigsaw puzzle. But like the jigsaw puzzle, is it really a puzzle? It's your gut biome and it's freaked the hell out? Try Activia Probiotic Yogurt today. You too can have a very, very healthy gut biome with a lot of strength and power and skill. Your gut biome is real nasty. You should look into making it a little better, huh? Maybe get a little, little, little bit of a better gut biome. I mean, come on, let's have a little talk here. Your gut biome fucking stinky, fucking nasty. We all know it. We all, we all know your shit be smelly as hell. Try a yogurt today. Don't you, don't you want to be yogurt maxing, cream maxing, and yogurt pilled like everybody else in the school? Come on, try my yogurt. I don't know why this uh, hypothetical yogurt uh, hype beast is like, you know goes to school. He's like a college student and he fucking loves eating slime. But one day he meets the Yum Yum Yogurt Man and the Yum Yum Yogurt Man helps him. We love the Yum Yum Yogurt Man. It gives us what we crave. A healthy gut bacteria, a healthy gut biome. More gut, less butt. Cream maxing is something else. No, no, no. We are cream maxing. Cream maxing is not anything else. Cream maxing is exactly what I say that it do be. Time to cream max. Time to be a yogurt pill. We bully the yogurt man. Would you bully the yogurt man if he came to your school when you were a child and he hung out with those weightlifters who rip phone books and tell you about Jesus? Could you imagine hiring somebody to come and give a motivational talk at a school and it's somebody who's just like, I'm the yogurt man. I have free samples for all. Let me tell you about your gut biome and your gut bacteria. Hey, we should all get together and beat up the yogurt man. Please don't beat me up. I'm just the yogurt man. Don't shoot the yogurt messenger. They should make one of those dare presentations, except it's all about gut biomes. They should make a dare presentation. But since dare heinously backfired, I think it'd be really funny to do dare, but it's dare to be against drugs. Dare to be for drugs. We just have three people that are really fucking into drugs come and talk to kids. And I think that'd be way more. I'm not going to lie. You get three people that are way into drugs to come and talk to kids, and they're probably going to scare the kids off of them. God, you know what this game is insane for, though, too? 
is coming out at the time that it did. Um, I think this is post Max Payne and not having a combat role. How do you do a video game like this and leave out a combat role? Like what? Oh, I need a big role. That was me. What is this shit? Oh my God, I think that's gut bacterium soda. Holy shit. It's real. They're trying, this game is all about your gut biome. This game is all about your fucking gut health. They're selling probiotic soda in the goddamn fucking Trigger Man game. Damn, the Johns are quick. I can't be nailed with these diamonds, and if I whack any of these coppers, then that will bring down too much heat on the family. I better find some place to lay low, till I can sneak out. I better go find somewhere I can lay low, uh, otherwise these Johns are gonna John at me. He's really confused, ain't he? This is a really good siren sound, by the way. Where did that cop come from? What? How'd he come from up to what? That man just, I saw that man. He came out of nowhere. So am I supposed to just wait? Or is it way dumber? I wonder if I'm just supposed to wait. I think this is a good place. They have a walk cycle, it seems. Do I, do I wait? Like what are the boy, what are the boys supposed to do? I don't. I think I. Find, I don't think I can get around him. Oh, am I supposed to stealth it? And they just ain't no. Is that really the bit? I just walk around with my fucking double hams just clapping. Oh, okay. You know, you move faster with the knife, so you just leave. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, just leave. I guess. What a good video. What a good fucking video game. So what do you do about the trigger man? Oh, uh, you just leave. To be the trigger man, you have to be the bigger man. You have to be larger. It seems that you live up to your reputation. Don Montagano called me. The old man's come out of retirement to personally deal with us. He was ranting on and on about his son and the trouble you caused at the casino. He was furious. I think now is a good time for you to reason with him. The Montagano Mansion is one part luxury villa, one part high security fortress. The old man has guards posted everywhere. Entry will only be possible through a door on the second story balcony. Getting out will be difficult if the old man won't listen to reason. However, there should be enough C4 hidden near the gate to blow it wide open. You doing well tonight, Brendan? I mean, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm doing great. Uh, aside from my throat being really tickly because, you know, I I, I, I quit vaping two days ago. And so today I, I realized I couldn't go full t cold turkey. So I bought like the, the smallest nicotine patches I could find. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm glad I did because it will keep me from being cranky. Uh, but my lungs are healing. So I'm in a really odd spot for the next two weeks. But I am... Uh, I am decrankifying. You don't see me. Watch this. Get on. Here, take that. We call that the bite of 87 in my crime family. What do you what do you mean the bite of 87? Well, you see, it all started with a little bear called Freddy Fast Bear. <laughs> now, if you want to join the Castangelo family, you have to swear on your life that you won't tell anybody that you know about Freddy Fazbear. Cause you see, if you go to Don Castangelo's Freddy Five Bear Pizzeria, you'll find yourself in a bit of a conundrum. Cause they're taking mobsters, they're taking Gabagool, and they're putting it inside the creature. What do they give this, what, what is this boy's tool set? Are these fucking throwing knives? Gotcha, fucking idiot, what the hell? Oh, I don't even pick him back up either. Okay, but we replenish. We replenish. If we drink the last soda out of the fridge, we replenish. We replenish. Don't see me. Get trigger man. Holy shit. Call of Duty kill. Holy shit. Call of Duty kill. Holy shit. It's got the fucking, like, final knife kill cam. Hey, get out of here. Who the hell are you to interrupt my game of eight? One second. Who the hell are you? To interrupt my game of eight ball with the boys here. You got a death wish, Bobo? Don Coladangelo asked me to talk to you on his behalf. A war with the Coladangelos would be very bad for your family. So much blood has already been shed over this misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? My son is dead. 
Then you come, you come into my casino. You destroy and kill. You steal what belongs to me. There's no misunderstanding. Cola D'Angelo is dead. His family is dead. And you, you punk, you're dead too. Oh shit. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go to the corner. I missed. Is he janking? Is he jonkling his Jimmy? What is happening to the old man? He can't just eat a knife like that. Hey, come here. Head. That's a headshot, baby. He just was scratching he fucking balls. That right there. That's a miss. That's a headshot, baby. Hey, check this sniper rifle. What are you jonkling your jimmies over there? Hello, old man. Look at all the armor he has. Look at him fucking janking. He's jorking it. Oh, shit. He was jorking it hard style and I couldn't do anything about it. Jorkin what exactly? Jorkin his jimmies. Jorkin his junkles. I don't know. Jorkin it crazy style. Jorkin the barrel of the- uh, 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 like he gun. I don't know. Fuck. Jonkin the barrel of he gun until he got nothing left. Jorkin the empty pie tin after he fucking wafts over to a windowsill and sucks all the plums out of there. You wish that you were cold day in hell, but actuality, you are hot day in hell, and I am cold day when you hell, you hell. What? The sooner you go back to jonking it, the sooner you die, I'm sorry. Go back to jonking it behind the pool table. Playing billiards with the boys. You've really pissed off Pep Pep now. There, Jesus, the old man is dead. Why is Pep Pep so strong? How many of y'all are out there praying for Pep Pep? Brendan, my dad is from around Chicago in 55. If only my Pep Pep were in the Mafia. Damn. My Pep Pep was never in the Mafia too, so I understand. Put the word out. My grandfather's dead, and I'm in charge now. While you're at it, tell everyone that we must honor my grandfather's vendetta. Don Cola D'Angelo and his family must die. Tell them to prepare for war. It's Metal Gear Solid music bullshit. I need to open that gate. Dude, I'm feeling that all the time. I understand more than anybody the immediate need to, I need to open that gate. Oh my, oh my god, oh, oh mama, oh mama, oh mama, oh mama, ma, oh mama. Oh, that's Don Cola D'Angelo. I hear that the old man didn't want to listen to reason. He was always stubborn. His granddaughter Bella is just like him. Seconds after the old man's off, she proclaims herself boss and picks up the vendetta where her grandfather left off. Look at his fucking face. It sounds like a real pain. Does she have the support of her family? It's too soon to tell, but while they're working this out, we're gonna hit them hard. I need you to pay a visit to Harry DeSirio at the office building at 23 Business Park. His helicopter is parked on the roof, and I need it not to take off. Boss, you can't do this. It's not supposed to happen like this. Things is this is this Ralph Borello gifted with the gift of prophecy? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about prophetic Ralph. Boss, this is not the way that the Oracle claimed. You will never accede or ascend to the top of the crime families this way, boss. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Prophet Ralph Borello. They are not listening to you. Oh, right in the knee. I missed that guy. Oh my god, you couldn't... Co I didn't realize that you could fucking control it mid-camera. I didn't know that it had smart control. You can slightly control... You are a knife wizard. Why did nobody tell me that the knives could be controlled? You could homer the knife. You're a fucking knife wizard. Yeah, for a guy who shoots the gun, I can telekinetically move the path of the knife a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. Would you drink Donkey Punch? Would you drink? You would drink. Don't even fucking lie to me. You would drink Donkey Punch. You're gonna go to like some fucking truck stop in Oklahoma. They're gonna have don cans and, and bottles of Donkey Punch. And you're gonna fucking drink it, and I know you are. Cause like, I don't know, that's like a... I love stopping at gas stations out in the middle of nowhere, cause they always have like novelty sodas, right? Hey, water cooler, get you a soupy. Uh, they always have novelty sodas, so whenever I get to a gas station that has novelty sodas, I always buy a corn soda. I love corn soda, it's disgusting, it's vile, it shouldn't exist. And that's why I love it. 
Everything about it is wrong and a sin against God, making it even better because of it. Is it like a sweet and buttery soda? It's just corn. Do you have to be aggressively Iowan? Yeah. It's mandatory for all small town Iowans to be aggressively Iowan? Yeah. I mean, Iowa doesn't have like, uh, there's not really an Iowa culture, right? So like you have to be as aggressively Iowan about the things that are Iowan. Otherwise, uh, like uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> If I'm not aggressively Iowan, then what do I have? Acting like a psycho? I can't get away with that. There are too many people that are too psycho. I gotta be the Iowa guy. Corn and maize and squash and maize. Oh. All right, are we good? Are we normal? No, guy. Knife. Gotcha. Nice. That's an amazing, that was a great, that was a really good explosion and I liked it a lot. No comments. No nothing. That was a really good explosion. No no comments or anything. That was, um... Really made it feel like it was worth the blockbuster rental. Come on, reload. There it... Oh my... Oh my god! Oh my god! Why? Why? Okay, it's fine. The suffering is the suffering is the suffering is the suffering is the suffering it and oh my god. Sorry, Brendan. There's no one around to hear your screams, your pleas. Like the game is it, it, it made by an insane person, right? Like that's the bit. Like a madman made this, right? Cause like there's slop, there's slime, there's sludge, but this is This is a certified beast. And not in like the cool way either. Not in like the Mr. Beast awards you with the 666 mark of the beast. Like in the bad way. There's a mole in your organization. They were expecting me. That's why things got out of hand. What? That can't be. Everyone around me I've known for years. Only my top people know about your trip. This is not good. Tomorrow, Ralphie and I were gonna have a sit down with Donna Bella. Carlo Perfetto has agreed to act as moderator for this sit-down. We're all going to jump into the Mafia subreddit on reddit.com. I have to go to this. This meeting took a lot of work to plan. I better take you with me in case anything happens. I'll have Ralphie stay behind and think up a plan to hunt down this mole. The meeting between Don Cala de Angelo and Donna Bella takes place in the lowest maintenance level of the old east side, subway station. The dark, abandoned facility is the perfect place for an ambush. Don Caladangelo better come prepared, just in case anything should go wrong. Uh, uh, oh god. Uh, uh. Okay, let's end this right here. You both know we had nothing to do with Tony's death, but if you continue with your vendetta, we will be forced to remove your family. Is that understood, Bella? You arrogant pig. You kill my uncle Tony and then you kill my grandfather. I run the family now. No thanks to you and your goon. But you were right. This does end here, Cola Dangalo. I'm sorry, Mr. Cola Dangalo. Oh, shit. A rat! Oh, you do I bet you don't even fight a demon at the end of this. It's just gonna be you on top of a building yelling at somebody in a text box. Crave Entertainment also released a Bible game. What an insane video game for them to make. This one and then the Bible game. What an insane, what an insane fucking pedigree. That's just like how the guys who made Elite Dangerous made Dog's Life. What an insane pedigree for a video game uh, studio. I, I cannot, I cannot fathom. I cannot fathom it. I can't fathom it. I feel like this video game is, um... Yeah, no, I feel like I'm in gaming purgatory with this. I, f I feel like I am locked away in a big white room. Um, and there are voices around me that I can barely, barely perceive, but I never know what they're saying, right? Like, this video game is the equivalent of, like, waking up, uh, and then somebody throws a flashbang in your bedroom the second you wake up, so you're like, oh, man, me when I, and then fucking immediately, eee! You're bringing up flashbangs like they're a bad thing? I mean, like, do you want somebody to throw one into your bedroom the second you wake up? Do you want somebody, would you want somebody to throw a flashbang in the middle of your bedroom the second you get up? Do you think that's going to improve your day or worsen your day? Because I think that's like an all around the board, like, my day is now worse because you have flashbanged me. I don't think there is a way to improve your day by flashbanging you in any way. Improve it? You're lying. 
It would not. It, there's no fucking way. You are lying. You are lying so that you can be fucking cool and say, I love getting flashbanged, actually. Brendan, you're you're wrong for hating getting flat. I'm dead at fucking. I I just how how do they make the enemies with like the laser focused shots? Crave also published Man vs Wild. Oh my god, I'm being cursed by this studio. At some point, I'm gonna play this studio's entire like library of gaming, aren't I? I knew Crave Studio was familiar. I knew it was familiar, and I can't hit him, and I'm, and I'm dead. Oh, God, there was no thought put into this. There was no fucking... There was no brain put into this. It is just an empty miasma. There was nothing put into this game. This game will not make your brain larger. This game will not make you larger. This game will just make you suffer. What? What? Did you see how the second I peeked out, those guys had laser fire focus? What the shit? There's no, I don't think there's any other way to do this. I genuinely don't. I don't think there's another way to do this segment. I, I think you have to use, I think you have to use the throwing knife on those guys. Oh my God, how do you fire only a, and then the pistol is so bad because whenever you aim at the guy, you fire around their head. If I rented this game from the blockbuster, it's going back same day right before close. This is the type of video game that if I rent it from like a movie gallery or a movie rental place or a blockbuster or Hollywood video, this shit's going right back to the fucking store the same day. Brendan, are you triggered, man? You know, apropos name, cause this game will act, this game might make you upset. There are a myriad of reasons this game may make you upset. It is just that bad. Brendan, knowing how shitty GameStop was, do you think Blockbuster would be a worse job? I mean, uh, yeah, it's you're gonna have to fucking argue with people about rental fees. That sounds horrible to me. Okay, like, sure, somebody's gonna come into the GameStop and argue about returning a game, but, uh, like, imagine having to be the guy to tell somebody that they have a rental fee on, I don't know, like, Pootie Tang or something. Like, imagine... Oh, sorry, you have a late fee on Pussy City. Like, oh, dude, yeah, sorry, you can't return Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc or whatever. But also, uh, yeah, sir, sorry, your, uh, your copy of Pussy City, a little bit late, Buster. Oh my god, he's following me? This is new, and I still died. What the fuck? Was that supposed to happen? What? Did a guy, did another guy spawn there? What? Why do you keep bringing up Danganronpa? That's like, uh, I don't know, that's one of my, like, staple... When I think of video games that nerds buy, I I can't explain it. But, like, whenever I think of, like, uh, pushes up glasses as an emote, I think of Danganronpa. That's the first game I think of. Do you like Danganronpa? Nope. I, it's, it's the, I, I, and this is no offense to anybody who likes Danganronpa. I don't give a shit. It's got the bear in there, right? But when I think of that game, I get the ultimate in, like, pushes up glasses technology in my head. Like I said, I can't explain it, and it didn't come from anything. Like, it didn't come from a specific interaction. I, I like the way that the name of the game sounds, and I think, like, it's my default pushes up glasses game. Come on, one more. One more. Thank you. Fuck! Okay. Whew. Oh, God. Why... Why did he have a knife? Why? Why did he have the knife out? Why? No! Fuck! Why did he have the knife? Why did he have the knife? Why did he have the knife out? 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 I am in train hell. And why don't I get armor? Why does every enemy get armor, but my boy cannot wear armor? All right. Oh, thank goodness. Well... We can put in the all weapons cheat. Well, well, well. Look who's winning now. Me. My man pulled out the cheat book. You know, I, I kind of did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to put up with this fucking mission anymore. So I kind of did pull out the cheat book. There we go. This is such a pathetic grenade launcher, but it works. There we go. There we go. Hell, you, now you'll get locked out of achievements. This is an original Xbox game. There there are no achievements. What? Not gonna get locked out of achievements. There are none. Original Xbox didn't have achievements. That was a 360 thing. Uh, let's see where old Johnny No Nick was calling last. Ah, Hugo's. I know that place. 23rd and Madison. I hope they don't require reservations. 
But Brendan, your gamer score. My gamer score is going to stay the same because the Xbox don't got no games. And it ain't got no achievements. This game is so good, you have to cheat to win. Yeah. Kind of do, though. Sorry, I got the burn. I'm feeling the burn. And I'm so fucking sorry, but I, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the flamethrower whenever I get a chance to. Anything in the garbage? No, I can't even eat like a fucking fat bowl of pasta out of the trash. This sucks. All right, next level. God, wouldn't it be fucking? It's gonna be real weak when this is like the last level, and they were like, "Dude, dude, final level. It's gonna be awesome." Imagine that it's set in a mafia Italiano restaurant. And it's gonna be like, yeah, that's great, bud. Doesn't even matter. I can just use the grenade launcher the rest of the game. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. You got a little slime. You got a little slime for me. Thank you. Whoop. This is amazing. This is gameplay. This is gaming. Oh, don't move here. Oh, th that's bad luck. Oh, bad show. Very bad show indeed. Okay, we're going to move right here, actually. Oh, fuck off. What? Oh my god. That's crazy. We did it. That's so odd. Look at that. We did it, chat. Chat, we did it. We escaped the police. How awesome. We're doing really good at this game. I'm not going to lie. We're doing amazing at this game. We are breaking new ground. We're doing so well. Chat, we're doing so fucking good at this video game. I found your mole. Oh god, who is the mole? Damn, I don't know who the mole is, but we got this. Check this shit out. It's gonna be awesome. Watch this shit. You guys wanna see a speed run? Hey, check this out. I know real speed running tech. Do you wanna check it out? Look at this. Awesome level, right? On a ship, bunch of cargo containers. Pretty cool. Watch me uh, wall hack through this level real quick. Awesome. Immediately job complete. Amazing fucking work. Literally mwah, chef's kiss of a video game. We love that we can, we did it. We beat it. It's that easy. I saw it. I saw it. And I said, you know, you know what's awesome about this game? That I'm fucking sick of it. Destroy the car block. Whack Donna Bella. Dude, check this shit out. It's going to be awesome. We got to go back to the mansion. We got to go back to the mansion. We got to fight at the mansion. Check this shit out. Fucking done. Done. It's that easy. Job's done. Yes, my lord. It's that easy. It's that easy to play this game. People saying this game's hard. God. That's it, by the way. That was the that was the last level.